deserved a little bit of recognition. That's a good mud item right there. And look at them dapping it up right there. EMB showing some sportsmanship. But you know once this game gets rocking, all that friendship goes out the window for these next 20 minutes of John Madden football. Let us set the stage for you. NFC Championship winner is on ESPN tonight. Here live from the Super Bowl experience. And Goes will have it first. And you mentioned these guys making their teams, but Goes does have, he's wearing the Josh Norman jersey. He also has Josh Norman on the lineup. Yeah, and we should mention too, Coltrane, the stakes are high. This, both of these guys have already secured $12,000 so far in this tournament, but the winner of this game guarantees himself $20,000. So you're watching an $8,000 game of Madden right here, right now. And I'm glad we took a break because there was no way to follow that Skimbo problem game at least I think so but there's a few games to go here hey, hey you never know and if you <laughs> missed that one you better go get uh, the clip of the past broadcast and check it out because that was a game for the ages little four yard pass to Delaney Walker that'll make it second and six for goes and he was a buzzsaw yeah, absolute buzzsaw going through the Washington Redskins club championship yeah, goes Hassan Spall, only 20 years old, out of North Brunswick, New Jersey, has already made a big name for himself in this Madden community. And can I get honest with you for a moment? When, when I met him out in L.A. last year, I didn't know what to think about him. And this kind of goes what do you for. Mean you didn't know what I, I'm just telling you. I, you know, sometimes with the youth, I'm an I'm an old guy. And, and, and it, I'll be honest, it was the same way with Kiv. <laughs> But once you sit down and spend some time with them and realize that you got this this game of Madden in common, I don't care if you're 18 years old or if you're 48. Not saying I'm 48, but you know, somewhere in between, it, it sort of bridges that gap. And next thing you know, like every time I see Ghost or Kibbs, I'm like, what's up, man? These, these, these are the guys. Nah, he's a good guy. Ghost is well-spoken, has a good attitude, doesn't complain much. But he should be complaining to his offense right now because Safa forces him with a three and out. Ghost forced to punt on his first possession. Huge and three I'll and tell you something. This guy, Musafa, I savage. Mean, he's been a savage this whole tournament, and he has a special spark about him. He's been playing with a chip on his shoulder, a lot of emotion, but he stays focused when he needs to. And I really like his game right now. Falcons and Redskins here in the NFC Championship. Who's going to go to the Madden Club Championship tonight? And, and I say that because for a lot of these guys, and we had over 100 Madden players down in Orlando, you can say what you want on the social medias and the chats, but when you're, when you're right in front of someone, you're sitting across, you're breaking some bread, all that goes out the window. There's so many commonalities between these players. Oh, the, the money, the glory, the competition, that's all fantastic and great. But like you said, the camaraderie and the experiences, they're priceless. And I've been going through that all my life, Scott. I wouldn't change it for nothing. So first and ten for Musafa. After a tremendous three and out stop. And he's going to put it on the ground to Herschel Walker. Yeah, this, uh, this last 15 years or so where competitive Madden has been around, really starting to pick up now. The friendships you make, the experiences, like, you just can't say enough about it. But, you know, I, I, I'll I'm go back to myself, even with... Early in the, you know, early in my stages of getting into Madden over the last three years, Gibbs and Farrells, now we're like, you know, we kind of feel each other out like, but now we're like best buds. Yeah. Like, and that goes for you too. Second goes. and 11. Safa, man. This, I'm telling you, this is a hot player in the tournament right now. Certain people, when they get hot, Scott, it, it just becomes a scene to deal with and they go on these insane runs, especially when they've been in so many hell games. And Safa is battle-tested, and he's as hot as it gets right now. All right, I got my good vibes out of the way. Third and seven at the 48. Walker on a little Jeez. bit of a delay. And how tough is this in uh -oh, hurry NFC, up. Ben? And he's going to try to hustle up to the line. A little tempo on fourth and six. Hurry up. This is going to be clutch. Ghost has been saying his defense has been stepping up big for him lately. He needs it right here after going three and out. Safa's going. You got Ghost! Mm. Oh, he's got room! At the 35-30, 30, 
And from watching about the last seven goes games, it's all about hitting the seam quick. A was wide open. Look at this again. You're tied in right there at the marker. Wide open. He throws a pick. Instead, Ghost lurks him. And Sapa lucky he has Mariota, that quarterback, who could actually catch down Jabrell Peppers. And that Jabrell Peppers is another one of those out-of-position players. So he's usually a safety in real life, but an ultimate team, you can get a linebacker version of him. And for these, this EMB crew, that Peppers has been a game changer. Yes. Second and 10 at the 26 after the turnover. Mariota, got to get rid of it. Good read. There's Harrison, first <laughs> down, spin. And taken down at the three-yard line, first and goal for Goes. Nice spin right there by Young Hassan Ball. Finds the open receiver, then, ooh, whoopsie. Get to the sideline. And nice train lane. Saved a touchdown. And this is where it gets tough for these high-powered offenses. Once you get down, you don't have maybe that pound-the-rock kind of offense. So it's going to be tested yeah. here. Walker. Same formation he used up in D.C. when he got near the goal line. Marshall Walker, and that's a, not a bad guy to get it to when you're down there in the red zone. That's a real running back. It's a 93 overall legend. Yeah, Herschel was okay. Not of that 900 cap, Herschel takes about 55 of that cap, so that's a significant investment when building your team. Spent some time here in Minnesota with that big trade with the Cowboys, and he's in for six. Go, strikes first. Yeah, and way to respond if you're coach. You get stopped on your first possession, get the interception, go down the field, get a touchdown, and he's got his family at home watching. They got to be failing. And his mom, Rizwana, Papa Ghost, and his brother Sonin, who's also a Madden player. They got to be back home in New Jersey. Very happy with young Ghost. Take it. Oh, be careful, Sapa. Can't get around. Amos, look at this again, just punches it in. Oh. It goes, a little fist pump. Loves the blocking out of that formation down in the red zone. Look at him, you see that posture right there, Coulter? That posture right there. That's locked in. I love that name. I love that. Composture. Composture. I love the, Sometimes I the gotta, combination I of it. I just got to make up a hey, word. Hey, when you got composure and, and good posture, composture, we don't have time for multiple words. Ooh, and Sapa read. finds Harrison. These rosters are, they're not identical, but they're close. Well, the, the funny thing is, Musafa knows all of the players' rosters in EMP because he's their roster guy. He's yeah. the one that they go to to help a roster help. So when they talked about them submitting their lineups, it had to go through the Safa check. <laughs> Musafa's the one that put the roster together. So they're all very similar. They're all very familiar with each other. Can Mutthead add that functionality, a little Safa check? A little Safa check. Maybe click a little box there. Can I get a Safa check? When we get a breath, I want to explain to everybody what EMP actually is and how that works, Scott. Second and 20. This is a, a good a time as ever on a long third down. So when we talk about EMB, it's a, it's a Madden crew. And it, it's much like MMA. We talked about this earlier where MMA is a 1v1 sport. However, you need to go to a gym and you need people you need to train with. Iron sharpens iron. And EMB is pretty much a gym of guys that constantly practice with each other, share tips, share tricks, and help get each other's game right. So these guys are very familiar with each other. And somehow Grant hauls it in even with a click on. And you see that in MMA sometimes. Training partners end up having to fight because, you know, everyone's going for that belt. And that's the situation we have right here. Two guys that have practiced, gone to war with each other, happen to get at each other's necks right now. And Mariota oh! gets loose and picks up the first down. Couldn't get down, but does move the chains. See how soft we can, so, see how we can respond here to Go so far so good. Go's trying to bring some pressure on that left side, but Mariota was able to leak out to the right. Pitch play. He'll step out at the 21. With 14 seconds left in this first quarter. It's going by quick. Look at that posture right there by Ghost. Both of those guys locked in. 
Good job by the production team giving us those headshots. Absolutely have crushed it. And there's that pistol formation. And Woodley's going to jump offside, so that's going to be a first and 10 from the 16. In the waning seconds of the first quarter, Safa trailing by a touchdown. But he does get the ball back at halftime. So in theory, if he can go down and get himself a touchdown on this drive, he's still in very good shape in this game. NFC Championship Redskins, Falcons. Of course, both these guys, huge fans. Safa from Atlanta as Walker picks up a big gain. And I was with Goes in D.C., and he was all about it. And Goes? <laughs> and he talked to everyone, everyone that was involved with the team. He was loving every second of it. And he's a huge Redskins fan. And we saw the Redskins organization showing him support yep. today, tweeting at him. They're happy with their, their champion and representative. They felt they had a good chance to take this Madden championship belt once they realized they saw Ghost play and realized that was who was going to be representing them. Trying to tie this thing up in the red zone. First play of the second quarter. Oh, get and off me! Herschel! Oh, he couldn't get forward for the first! So that's going to bring up a third and two for Safa and the Falcons. Good play right here for Safa. By the way, all these jerseys from the team, super crispy. So we just dropped the move, and we're just going Safa. I like it, though. It's got a good yeah, ring I mean, to that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I heard the, the community. That's what they called him. Drop the move win, call me Safa. He did put some respect on his name, though. Oh, good hit. And that'll dislodge it, and that's going to bring up a fourth and two. He's got a decision to make. Smart money would say kick it. That's what he's going to do. Little Tribe Called Quest, can you kick it? That's what he's do. Yes, you can. Didn't kick it perfect. Got to make sure he doesn't get his kick blocked here. 25-yarder. For Bailey. He's going to let it go down to three seconds on the play clock. Oh, he's going to oh, fake it! Going Mariota! Going oh, oh, my way down to one! Musafa Jones put the move back on his name, put some respect on it, goes deep into the playbook. A little trickery. Oh, he's got ice in his veins. Look at him. He's not even blinking. He's not satisfied with the first down. He wants the touchdown. Oh, it was a scum tactic, and I love it. And Herschel. Boy, that's got to be at the one-inch line. That is scary, Coltrane. Well, you got Mariota, so you got the wheels. And that's what you want to do if your opponent's going for the block. You have a high success chance on those trick plays. It's just so scary to pull them off. You never know what could happen. And how savage was that he ran it all the way down, just like you're going to kick it. Yeah. And faked it. That was a good, good bluff right there by Safa. Second and goal from three inches. And he goes to Herschel and Walker. Finds pay dirt. And we're an extra point away from being tied here in Minnesota. Soph has got his family back home in Atlanta, Georgia, watching, rooting him on. He said, Mom, Sheila, Auntie Val, and his girlfriend, Rasa, we back were, home in Georgia. We were eating breakfast this morning. It was Drag and, and Safa, and I said, uh, and Spot Me was sitting there, too. I said, you got Waffle House in your area? Safa was the only one person I knew what I was talking about. So, so ever since that moment, we're kindred spirits now. That's a good late night meal if you need one. And hey, we're not endorsed by Waffle House. This no. is me just genuinely I'm, speaking. I'm just putting it out there. Look and at there's the scum. The fake. That scum at its finest right there, Coltrane. And he almost got in. Was spinning his way, but Herschel Walker able to cap it off after the trickeration. And we're tied at seven. Redskins fan versus the Falcons fan. Both trying to put on for their teams right now. I mean, it landed at what point did we talk about the Super Bowl tickets on top of all this? Yeah, it's a good point. The <laughs> winner of this game. It's going will, to the ball. They'll guarantee themselves a pair of tickets to the Super Bowl. And they also guarantee themselves 25 grand on top of that, so not too bad. We're playing a little John Madden football here on a Super Bowl weekend. It's a good day at the office. Got a penalty here on first and 10 from the 48. So the new set of downs and goes will goes back to work. One, 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 one. 
Herschel in the flats. I've met Herschel three different times in three very different locations. He actually owns a business in my hometown. And the second and third times, one was like three years apart, the next was like a decade apart. Yep. He sees me in the hall at NFL Network and he's like, Scott Cole, is that Stan's son? And I'm like, dude, you're, <laughs> you the man. And he looks like he could still tote it. I'm telling you. Probably can. Talked about his workout regimen. I mean, something I know nothing about as I talk about waffle. He's in MMA. I mean, that guy's yeah. hopped in the ring, the octagon with people and put them down at like 40 years old, 40 plus. He ain't messing around. Oh! Good grab there by Walker out Ooh. of the 31. I normally don't get along with Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Georgia Clemson, Clemson that, that thing doesn't mix. But Herschel's a good dude. Good goal is going to sip the water. Take his time at the line of scrimmage. He ain't going to snap the ball. He's got water in hand right now. So that'll be the two-minute warning. Tied at seven. Scott Cole, RG, with you here from the Super Bowl experience. As the Redskins and Falcons goes and Musafa at the helm. And there's another aggressive play that'll get him five yards in the first down. NFC Championship game, Coltrane. Started off with all 32 NFL How cool teams this, having a representative. <laughs> We're down to the final four. Falcons versus Redskins for the NFC. Like we said, both these players guaranteed 12 grand so far. The winner of this game guarantees himself 20. You ever play an $8,000 game of Madden? No. Gets intense. $8 one time. <laughs> yeah, it's I lost. It's more I lost. at our level, right? Shout out to my brother out there, but I lost. <laughs> A drag. He likes that drag. Good stick work after the catch, too. Goes constantly turning those drags into extra yards after the catch. Look at this. Gets to the numbers. Little spin move. Nice. That puts him at the 12-yard line, which means he can't still pick up. The first down on this drive, and he's trying to milk the clock here with 92 ticks left. Back to Walker. And what Ghost does, Coltrane, on that spin is he's doing the steerable spin move. So it's not a spin that's going to trigger like a fake-out animation, but it's the spin where you use the defender's momentum around him. So he's coming at you. You're going to the right. Your steerable spin left. The spin's going to go in that direction. Use the defender's momentum against him. It's good stick work right there by Ghost. Uh-oh! Cancels the play action, try to go low, and it hit the back of his lineman. Yeah, if you want to try those steerable moves, though, Coltrane, you got to hold the left trigger and the right trigger, and then you move the left stick in what direction you want to hit, stare the spin to and press that B button. I tell you, when Bo Jackson came out around Thanksgiving, oh, my goodness. Spin? Steerable spin. Oh. Ooh. Getting busy. Ooh. Big third and seven third here, and seven. Cole. This is big. Mariota. The pocket. He's Drag got caught away. up in traffic, so he just runs away and slides. And Safa's going to take a timeout with 105 to go. And Goes will try to take the lead. Goes hit him with his own fake. Nope. So 10 to 7 with a minute left here in the first half between the Redskins and the Falcons. See what Safa can do. Safa with 101 left in the second quarter. He's a passionate guy. Adrian mentioned it last week at the Pro Bowl. He was in so many crazy games. He was yelling. He lost his voice. So he'd score a touchdown and be like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. He's, he's still screaming. He had nothing left, but he's a passionate guy. He ain't messing around. That pass he had on Stevie J down in Orlando was probably one of the plays of the tournament <coughs> no question about it God, he just he makes good reads i haven't seen him make many bad reads this tournament clock on the move it's taken first and 10 for the 46 trying to get in field goal range tied up before the half oh, here comes the heat lucky to get it out of his hands and it just be an incompletion clock stops with 41 seconds a little smile from both the players right there I think Mustafa knows 
that uh, Ghost caught him off guard with that blitz right there. And Ghost told you he's feeling good on defense right now. His defense has really been clicking since that Redskins Club Championship. Ghost even won a challenger event earlier in this year. That's a that challenger event sure. are underground tournaments that anyone could go to, but they're often stacked with the best Madden players in the world. And those are no joke to win. Problem got him one in Vegas. Chaos got one. And if you're looking to get into CBJ. this type of thing next yeah. year, when Madden 19, so great when the next Madden comes out, yeah. you got to go and look for one of those challenger events because anyone can compete in that. And it's a great way to test yourself and get involved in the community. It's how we all started pretty much, Scott. Yeah, this, you know, we have Vegas, El Paso, Miami, Philly, New York. Those Vegas ones are fun, too. I've been to a couple of those. Yeah, you get, you get two chances. You get to go on both sides. I got to both systems are the same yeah yeah they do a Sweet. playstation and xbox shout out to millennial out there doing their thing armando and co so sophos got it down to the 36 clock stopped 32 seconds to go in the half and he'll hit it to the flats and grant will be tackled in bounds which means the clock will be on the move yeah it's still ticking remember bailey is his kicker I think he's going to take the three here, Scott. Just let the clock continue to... Oh, there's Ghost. Ghost's not going to let him do it. Ghost calls the timeout. He wants a chance to get the ball back if Safa takes the field goal here. A little smirk on the face of Mustafa. Oh, he's going to go for it now. He's going to run another play. He was previously going to kick the field goal to timeout. Watch the sneak. Maybe just a quarterback sneak maybe, center of the ball. Now he's got to hurry up. I'll take it to the 29. Had to get the field goal unit out there. Yeah, look how quick he does this. No hurry up offense. Get to the play call screen. Select the field goal. Then he got to hold. This will tie it. And it's up and it's good. Ghost has had a couple blocks the last few games. This time goes flying by. With two seconds remaining in the half, we're all tied up at 10. He's going to have a play here. A little Hail Mary action. See who's Ghost Scott at the receiver's position. He can chuck this up to Mike Wallace, the 93 overall, to Keem Grant. Marvin Harrison. He doesn't really have any big bodies. Slang it up to. See what he does. He buys time. Well, you got to be careful not to fumble it there. And that's how the half will end. We'll hold down A. My final shot out of the day is to Travis Smith of EA, big part of us having the ability to do all this, who actually tore some ligaments in his knee and couldn't fly and be up here, and we're thinking about him. Yeah, shout out to the Trav God. That's G-A-W-D. Big part of the team. See him at the Challenger events. Mariota will get loose. Ooh, Icky! Still Ew. on his feet. And Safa works it to the 46. Where's the stick work at? It's in Safa's thumbs on this play. Look at Mariota, a little hezzy. Ooh, whoopsie, get out of my way. Slide, protect the cue. And that's user on user. Good job, Safa. So tied up 10-10, Musafa Jones with the rock. Pitches it outside to Walker, who gets tripped up in the backfield for a loss of one. Second and 11. Draw. Mariota hands it off to oh! Herschel, and Walker's got space. One man to beat, and Amos, and that's why you get yourself an Amos. Chases him down at the four. One of the fastest free safeties in the game. Drop the moo and call him Safa. He's on his horse in the open field. Looked like he was going to the crib. He said Amos makes a big tackle, but nonetheless, that's a big play for Safa. On Ghost's four-yard line, can he punch it in? First and goal. Watch the, the dive right here to Herschel. It's coming. It's the obvious. Motion. 
Yeah, he's going to go right at the star there, and this time it's bottled up. It's the problem with that far near is all the run plays in it are inside. It's either yeah. a fullback dive or the halfback inside. So it's real obvious what he wants to do here. You also got to watch the wheel route coming out of the backfield. If he runs Walker out. Watch the wheel and the crosses. There's the wheel out the backfield. Got to get rid of it. Oh, oh what a dart! Wow. What a dart! Sop is out of his seat as he should be. That was a crispy one, Scott. I was watching the wheel, and he went to the thrill. It's Touchdown, Sapa. Oh, he would have dotted me on that one. I was looking for the cross, and I'm looking at the wheel. A little hitch sits inside the end zone. Crispy Reed, touchdown. About to go up seven against Ghost. And the young man who was relatively unknown at the start of this competition continues to make a name for himself and rep his hometown, Atlanta Falcons. 10 unanswered on each side of half. Goes is going to have to answer. And right now it's all a possession difference as you look at this again. I'm looking outside. Oh, and Ghost was right there. Just wasn't ready for the round. And look at Ghost's reaction. He knows. He knows. And he's supposed to be able to work that and make a play. But Sapa switched it up on him. A little too crispy of a dot. Once he squared up with the line, that's when he threw it. Got that momentum going one way. B's open. He's on the run. That would have been a tough throw. I saw him throw that one in D.C. And it was, it was unbelievable. He completed it? <laughs> he completed it. On the run, about a 50-yarder for the score. And it's funny. Of course, he was also up 30, so a little different stakes. Well, the things <laughs> these guys are able to do, and it's funny. You go back and watch these videos, and you see some of the casual fans like, oh, I'd smash these guys. Oh, they don't know what they're doing. Trust me, once you get in that hot seat against one of these Madden pros, it's no joke. It's a whole nother level. They'll blow you out. Wow, what a throw. Right behind the ear hole of the linebacker first down. The cool thing about Madden is. Soft is mad. Hey, you, you can play these guys. They're on, they're on the ladder. Oh, that's what the. You, because, it, you know, with Counter-Strike, I'm not playing any of those guys. Those guys are up there at the pro level. I'm not getting there. With Madden, you load up, and who knows who you might get. The beautiful thing about EA competitive gaming is these guys that you're watching on these streams, you can often compete against. Because like you said, everybody plays on the same ladder as Ghosts. So it's a huge play down there. Uh, one time, Joe had me down 24 nothing about the first three minutes of a game one time. So, yeah, yeah. matched up with Joe, coach. Yeah. Yeah, it was not good. I play on a creep tag. Nobody going to know when they blow me out or if I put hands on them. Mariota rolls out. He'll throw this away. I'll reveal that creep, ta creep tag at the end of the third whoa, quarter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't expose me. <laughs> Don't expose me now. That's a good throw away, though, by Ghost. You talk about the small things. I always bring this up, but I love these high-level players not afraid to throw the ball away. It's just something you don't see at the amateur level of play of Madden, but you see it so often when these high-level players play. They're smart enough not to force things downfield and take unnecessary chances. And that's what coaches tell you, right? They want sure. a quarterback. If it's not there, throw it away, fight another down. That's what these guys do. Checks it down. Delaney, who muscles his way to the four, and that makes it third and short. And I thought what Josh Scobie said was pretty cool, where he said, hey, I've watched the Madden players. Sometimes they're smarter than the NFL coaches, and it's because they're willing to take risks that coaches aren't. You're your own franchise. You're not going to get fired. You can't get fired from your you own team. Because you go for it on fourth down and don't get it. Not going to get fired from your own team. So these guys are able to take some of those risks, and they'll pay off. And between their clock management, understanding of the game, they're no joke. Here's that. They go to Walker, and he navigates his way down to the one. So it's first and goal as Ghost is trying to tie this thing up. Should be that same late play, in the third. Quick hike. See how fast he got to the line and hiked that. Scott, that's a quick hike, kind of like what the Patriots do. Hurry to the line before you can make your defensive adjustments. Try to hike it before you set up and get in, but Mustafa ready right there. Drill Peppers was the first one on the contact. Second and goal. 
It's going to be a fullback diver to halfback inside. There's the inside Looks again. Back to it. That's a touchdown for Goes and the Redskins. And with the extra point, we're going to be tied at 17. With 106 to go here in the third. And Safa still keeping that possession lead. And it all started with that early first possession of the game, a three and out at Safa. And he's sort of been in control since then. Yeah, well, this is the type of game I expected where it's back and forth. It's a tight one. And when these guys are as, when you're as familiar with your opponent as these guys are with each other, it's going to get down to the nitty gritty. That play is pretty sweet down there in the red zone. I, I don't like it just if it had a toss in that formation, I would like It'd it. It'd be but deadly. You just know what's coming. To, it's too easy to know that it's either the fullback or the halfback inside. Unless you have Usafma and you got the, the pass play to go along with it, then I think you're in good shape. Good nine-yard gain there on first down. That's going to bring up second and one. Tackle by Night Train Lane, the legend. We told you, an ultimate team. You're not playing with the Redskins and the Falcons. You're using their uniforms. You're representing them. But you crafted your team of both current and legend-type players. That's why you might see Mariota at the quarterback and Herschel Walker at the halfback spot. Hands it off to Walker. That's that same red zone play. This time he uses it to pick up the first down. Half back inside. Still has to run a play well, here at the end of the third. The half back inside is one of those plays, too, where you can know that it's coming, but to get the defense set up to blow it up is not easy. First and 10 from the 37. 10 seconds to go in the quarter oh, here in the quick. NFC Championship. Let's go by so quick, Coltrane. These five-minute quarters, there's just not much room for error. And for your whole season, all the hard work you've put in, you're representing your favorite team. It's win or go home right now. Put your fours up. We're in the fourth quarter. Where you start the to NFC the Championship. And we're tied at 17 as Williams gets in there with a the sack. Third and nine. Take a look at this. Just bull rushing, sticking with his lane and making the play. I'll tell you what, Coltrane. Ghost has one of the best game faces I've seen. There's Safa right there, but you got to see Ghost's posture. He's, he's locked in. Third and nine. Quick throw to Wallace, Big and that'll play. move the chains. Boy, he got that one out quick. Yeah, Soph is like, I don't care what his posture looks like, how locked in he is. Why don't you hold this dot on third down? Move the chains. Keep the drive alive. Quick drop, and he got it out even quicker. As you see, Deliverance looking on. It's problem in Deliverance. Chargers in Steelers in the AFC next. Deliverance. Still got a ways to go in this one. Yeah. Deliverance with his girlfriend, Lori. Best dressed couple I've seen in the Madden community. That Steelers gear rocking it right. Can Cinderella keep moving on for Deliverance? Safa's had a, a similar run. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe overshadowed a bit by Deliverance coming out of nowhere. Hey, you, you got a chance to make a name for yourself, rep your hometown Atlanta Falcons. You have no choice but to put on one time. Looking oh, down, it's going to be picked off. He's got room. He's got room, Coltrane. And Night Train Lane yeah. puts a move on the center. And takes it all the way back to the 50. The 20-year-old Hassan Ball, a.k.a. Gold, steps up big on defense. Clicks on perfect time and use a pick. Night Train Lane starts moving the rock, and that's big in the fourth quarter. Maybe got a little greedy. Was in control. Well, threw it in a coverage. Well, Musaba's been throwing that post route yeah. over the middle all tournament long and executing at a high level. This time, Ghost wasn't having none of that. Press coverage on second and ten. And we got some encroachment up front. Second and five. 
That'll move it to the 45. 318 to go. Full timeouts for both the Skins and the Falcons. And Mariota cuts it back. The Mr. Reed he is oh, still look at open. Him. He can't make that throw though. It's good stick work though. I thought he was gonna throw it away, but got to the outside. Looked like he could have kept going, played it safe and slid. I don't blame him. So third and two. And everything going to the right and nothing back to the left. Washington Redskins, Atlanta Falcons, NFC Championship, fourth quarter tie ball game. Eight grand on the line, a chance to get to the first club championship where all 32 NFL teams are involved. Serious business going on right now, Cole. First and 10 from the 37. Mariota hands it off to Herschel. And Walker works to the 31. 2.42 to go in the game. Who's going to be in the final on ESPN? 9 p.m. Eastern. So this, Tell your friends we'll be on the deuce. The deuce. I like it. So this game, you guarantee yourself an additional eight grand. A spot on ESPN. Ooh, good hit. Tickets to the Super Bowl. Represent your favorite NFL team in the NFC. Boy, three years ago, four years ago, we were on the Ocho. Worked all the way up to the deuce. <laughs> oh, there it is. One more step. We got one more step for Madden football. We'll get there. Hey, the, at the rate it's going, I, I don't really, I don't think we'll have any problems. Third and four. He oh, throws right it. Oh, oh, my goodness. No! I'm going to throw up. Oh, no. How fortunate for Ghosts. What type of good karma do you have coming your way for Night Train Lane? It's the same play. It's the same play. Oh. Night Train was going to pick the post off. The good thing for Safa here is Ghost has been known to be janky on his field goal kicking. And no matter what, it's going to have the ball back. Ball, it, three timeouts. The ball, three timeouts, plenty of time. You can control your destiny still. If they move Safa, that's an unfortunate dropped interception that's really hard to deal with. But on the biggest stage, when everything's on the line, you have to deal with it. You have to keep your composure, and you got to be able to respond. Well, that's the difference between the guys that are out here winning these Madden Club championships and the, and the guys that quit out on you online. See that shot with the belt. Ghosts want to belt at the Redskins club event, but that's baby stuff compared to that Madden championship, that Madden club championship belt, that silver strap. Yet to be a part of an elite company, Cole. Only a handful of people got belts. Look at that. Serious Mo, grab the. First one in 16. That was at the Super Bowl Still. in San Francisco. I think that was AJ and you on the call. Yeah. Shout out to EA AJ, my dude Andrew Johnson. Adam Rank and I had to suffer backstage with Ludacris and Too Short and Khalid and Peter Moore. Oh, poor, poor, poor you. Poor, <laughs> poor, poor you. us. Poor, poor us you guys, back there. Huh? <laughs> and that'll take us to the two minute warning. It's a three point game. First and 10 for Musafa. This is, what, this is everything you could ask for for Madden player, to have one drive. We call this the guap drive. This is where you make your guap, Cole. First and 10. Deliverance and problem coming up next. Mariota throws uh -oh. it up top. Uh -oh. oh, Amos drops one. That would have been a tough interception if you look at it again. He's in traffic, but still you get your hands on it. You're an elite player, but you know what? Madden goes both ways, goes. You're fortunate you got three on the last drive. You got to forget about that one. Continue to play defense. If you're Safa, you should 
with time and with space. And he'll pick up the first down and... Covers the ball. Saw that? Yeah. He's going to stop the clock with 148. What I'm not sure I don't slide and let the clock run here. What he did right there is he held the RB button, and that's what put Mariota in that cover ball animation. It makes you a lot less likely to fumble. For those that don't know about that mechanic, it's the RB button when you're running in the open field. Mariota, he's on both of these teams. So if, if, if you're Mariota, I'm, I'm not saying Mariota's watching at home, but if you're on both teams, who do you, who do you root for? <laughs> you, you got skins and you got... You got Both. the Falcons, of course, the Titans lost earlier today. Deliverance beats Bobby, Bobby please. Oh, good run. Oh, good pass by Safa. And looked like he was able to cut up field. And if you're Safa, you want to take as much time as you can on this drive. Try to score with no time left. At the worst, kick a field goal, take it to overtime. What you don't want to do is settle for three and give Ghost enough time to put a drive together to win this game. And Walker will put his shoulder into it at the 22. And it's going to be second in inches. Knee went down with the ball behind the yard to gain. Yeah. you continue to milk this clock right now. Let the play clock go down a little bit. Yeah, you know you got the tie. Now you're working on the win. Walker. And Williams wraps him up at the 20. 17 carries for 99 yards, and we're at 45 seconds to go in this one. And Ghost going to save his timeouts. Maybe try to ice Mustafa when he tries to kick this last second field goal and assuming he can't get in for a touchdown. It's back to Walker. And that's where Ghost will use his first timeout at the 18-yard line. And that's part of Safa's strategy here. He's trying to run Ghost out of timeouts as well. Oh, absolutely. Ghost is too good on offense to leave him any timeouts, any time. And you don't want to get iced. Even though Problem was able to battle through that to beat Skimbo earlier today. Mariota quick throw! Oh, and it's picked go, up go, by the legend! Go. Ronnie Lott! But it's not over. 29 seconds. Safa's got three timeouts. If you're Hassan Ball, this is how you come up big for your Washington Redskins. Yeah, let them have it. Let him have it, Ghost. You deserve it right there. Pretty much almost a first down away from going to the NFC Championship. But like you said, Coltrane, it's not over. Musafa has three timeouts left. Off tackle. And Walker won't get a yard. 25 seconds to go now. You could have tied the game and you threw a pick. And I saw Ghost's play hard. He... He was in a cover two look, but he hot routed the safeties to hook zones. He had everyone underneath. He was willing to give up the big play over top. He was counting on the check down, and that's what Safa tried to do, but Ghost was ready for it. That was no fluke. That was a great play by Ghost for the game. And Wallace will drop it, and that'll stop the clock with 20 seconds to go. Third and ten. Oh wow. Oh wow. If you can stop him here, you're gonna get a punt. And you got timeouts left. In a and good situation. Because yeah. of the passing, goes try to seal the deal. This is big, biggest play of the game right here, Scott. Here it is. Gotta watch that C route on the right to Harrison. Mariota nope. steps up. Oh. He's and he's gonna win the game. Hassan Ball, 20 years old, from North Brunswick, New Jersey. Representing EMB, gives a big dap and hug to his friend Masafa. Redskins fans in the crowd feeling it, supporting their guy the whole time. You gotta love it. 20 to 17, the Redskins will be in the final to face the winner of the Chargers and the Steelers. Wow, goes uh, on top of that, that man right there has got two tickets to the Super Bowl. Oh my goodness. Secures the bag, gets himself into the championship game. Tickets to the Super Bowl, representing his favorite team, the Washington Redskins. I bet he can't wait to go tweet back at him, say, hey, you guys wish me luck. Well, guess what? I'm still holding it down out That's here right. for you. 
We're going to the chip. That belt is within my grasp. Woo. Rocking and that Josh Norman jersey, and it was really the defense and the interceptions Woo. late that won him the game. Oh, it's such a good game, right? I, I don't know what won him the game, to be honest, Coltrane. It went back and forth. Both had some unfortunate dropped interceptions. I mean, Musafa, I'm a fan oh, going yeah. forward. That guy knows how to fight. He knows how to come out here and put on for his city. But young Ghost represents and shows people why he's considered one of the most elite players in the world. And he's already made a name for himself but he just elevated his game to a whole nother level. We got guys back here stealing our water while we're trying to rock and roll. But I don't blame them. Hey, we're, we're all good here. And one thing I want to add here before we get over to the winner, Safa won the game in every statistical category but points. It doesn't matter. You got to have those points at the end. And Adrian standing by with goes. Goes. You won, you are going to the Super Bowl. Bro, how do you feel? I feel great. Uh, it was sloppy, we play each other a lot, so the game was gonna be a dogfight, I knew that. He's a very good player. It's like my brother. And hey, who are you gonna take? I don't know yet, we'll see. I might fly out my mom, we'll see. All right, and also like that interception, that was pretty hot, tell us about it. Yeah, I got very aggressive, it was, uh, it was the red zone. So my thought process was if he scored, I'm gonna get the ball back for a money drive of 40 seconds and two timeouts. I shaded, I, I, I played underneath coverage and they got it done. You did get it done and you will be moving on. You're gonna play either problem or deliverance. Seeing how this AFC matchup turns out, who do you wanna play the most? Give me problem, give me problem. Why? Uh, I wanna dethrone the coat, that's it. I wanna beat the best, that's how it is. Completely understandable, congratulations. To Dave Enrico.